All across America, from small towns to big cities, murders that go unsolved make a lasting impact. Tonight, Local 23's Talisa Hampton brings us the details on what local law enforcement agencies across the valley are doing to solve our own set of cold cases and finally get justice for the victims. So there are some cold cases in my career that to this day I wonder how those victims were never, uh, suspects were never identified. You go home and you hug your family a little tighter because of the experiences that you've had at work. Why them? Who did it? Questions that surround cold cases. Mercedes Chief Jose Mercedes explains two things needed to help solve them. Number one and two, manpower. And the last part is you need dedicated officers that are take the case into being a priority. But it can be difficult. All investigative leads have already been exhausted. Um, I think it's, it's very important that in these situations that uh, agency administrators are able to reassign these cases to additional investigators so they can get a fresh perspective. Alton's Chief Flores looks at the limited resources. In a 2007 study, it showed that 7% of law enforcement agencies in the United States had a dedicated cold case unit. 10% had investigators that were dedicated to, to cold cases. He says solving a cold case is not like what you see on TV. There's a process and it takes time. So a lot of times the community and the public, you know, think that things can be accomplished with, you know, a magic wand and that's not the case. However, Chief Marseilla says devices sparked hope in unsolved cases. Today's technology allows us to use tools that were never used before. Everything from uh, the comparison of digital fingerprints to the retina scan of the person's eyes to being able to plot a person's position by the use of the cell phone and uh, Wi-Fi towers. Building a relationship with the public could go a long way. But they'll say, hey. You know, uh, you're my friend. I, I've known you for some quite some time, and you know this is what I saw, or this is what I have, or you know what? Nobody knows that I have a camera in my house, and you know here's some information that might help you. Cameron County Sheriff Eric Garza says they're in the process of looking back on all of their cold cases. We're reviewing them, and we're going to go out and you know ask the help of the community for more information, so that we can go ahead and continue the investigation and hopefully get uh, the resolution to some of these families or the individuals. But not every case. Not every story is brought to justice. We're humans, and you know, as we work through these cases, um, to say that it doesn't impact us to a, to an extent, you know, that would be that would be a lie. And although the case could go cold, Chief Flores says it still sticks with them. You know, this this profession, at times, you see the worst of the worst in people, and. Absolutely. You know, there's been multiple times in my career where I've been working a tough case and I'm able to go home and you appreciate what you have. To contact one of the police departments on any tips you have for cold cases, you can go to valleycentral.com. Putting local first, I'm Talisa Hampton.